More importantly was that while we were filming, my father got in touch with Tina Karekis, who is Paul Green's uh, executive assistant. And she was pretty intimidating, I'm going to be honest with you at first. Um, when we got back after the weekend, we got right on it and set up a meeting with her. And we were like, look, we're two film kids, we think the School of Rock is kick-ass, and we're John Anderson's buddies. Whatever it is that we can offer you, we will do it, because we think it's a great opportunity, and we are, you know, we're big supporters of the school after these two shows that we saw, they blew our minds. She was really, um, you know, friendly, and uh, just really into what we wanted to do with absolutely no reason and she got us hooked up with going on tour over spring break we uh we headed out we did the we did all the semester before spring break and went to our classes and you know rented out uh some hd cameras which we were very excited about and just went on the road. Didn't know uh, what to expect. Drove down to Philadelphia. We didn't know anybody there except Tina. We had never met Paul Green before. So we show up at the Philly school and set up all our equipment in the rehearsal room and all the kids are <laughs> sort of just looking at us like, who the hell are these random camera guys? But everything more or less went smoothly with rehearsals. We got interviews with everybody from, you know, Tina to some people that were working at the School of Rock to uh, a bunch of the students and John showed up and it was like a huge thrill for all the kids it was amazing for them because they're all huge ES fans which is ridiculous because they're all 15 years old like who would have thought that would ever happen Paul Green shows up and he's <laughs> definitely a character didn't really know what to expect from him but he was kind of <laughs> half like supporting what we were doing and half making it blatantly known that he thought we were like a total pain in the ass, which was kind of funny. What the hell is this? Oh, Paul, got any comments right now? No. General state of things? Yeah, I wish there wasn't was being filmed right now. And we filmed our first show at the, the Trocadero in Philadelphia. You know, it was our first time really ever filming a live show and you know doing it properly so uh, I kind of felt the pressure when I first got there and it it went uh, pretty smoothly I think for our first time the first show went very smoothly not so much for the second show it was at BB King's Blues Club in New York City which we were very excited about because it was sold out. Didn't realize that sold out meant that there was not going to be a two square foot radius in the entire room that we were going to be able to stand without blocking the view of ten people behind us. Only to be topped by when we got on the tour bus two days later to drive to Rochester when we first got stuck in New York traffic, then got a flat tire in the middle of nowhere, upstate New York. And then a blizzard hit, um, but we did make the show on time and it was all good. The next day, whiteout blizzard, almost didn't make that show, could not see the road in front of us on the bus, um, but did eventually make it to Pittsburgh that day. John decided to ride the bus with us and this was probably a bad idea because he got very antsy and bored and that gets his brain stewing on absurd John Anderson ideas. I'm too busy writing uh, Nam, Nam the, the musical. Yes. Uh, Nam, Nam, I'm, be, I'm in a creative zone. Um, he wanted us to make a canopy of green paper that was strung together with string that went the entire length of the bus. We're trying to squash the idea all week, and it simply would not go away. Dude, can I talk to you then, then, then? What? About what? Oh, stuff. Following day, beautiful, gorgeous day, smooth sailing, make it to civilization and find out that John is too sick to perform, and that was the Fairfield show where we had family and friends coming, so that was a disappointment, but... Um, there was going to be two shows that night. He had been sick all week, so I guess it was for the best. And um, uh, the night after that, John 
felt up to doing the show, so we drove back into New York and did one last hurrah at the Highline Ballroom. Headed back and, you know, it was it was surreal coming back to Fairfield campus. We ended up getting back here at like 3.30 in the morning or something, and it felt like we had been away for a really long time. At nearly every show we were at, Yes fans, parents, um, just people who were there to check it out were asking us where could they buy this footage, like is this going to be a DVD, where can I get this, are you going to put it on YouTube? So there's some, um, you know, pretty good interest for what we were doing. I think with any job, there's an idealism and a practical presentation in a classroom, and whether it's college or high school. Uh, they're trying to give you a broad education and give you some exposure to the real world, but I think until you're in the real world, there's no way to really know what it's like. You get to just set things up on the fly, and it's not going to look perfect because it's real life. Also, what I liked about that is you could create the story and the editing. So what I'm finding out now is how hard it is actually to create that story through the editing, but it's kind of a challenge that I you know, like to take on. I wasn't ever 100% sure that I had made the right decision. Being a film major, after this was over, like I was pretty assured that I wanted, you know, that I do want to pursue something in, in film. And I really believe it's not always about what you know, but about who you know. I feel very fortunate to have been given the opportunity and uh, hopefully run with it from here. You know, there's no way of knowing whether every film project I do from here on out is going to be as, as promising and as exciting as this one, but uh, I know it's been an incredible experience and it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and it's made me, you know, feel good about my decision to try and become a filmmaker. Thank you.